we're still in Yorkshire, land of the gods, and uh, we're doing what every uh, St. Yorkshireman does uh, the week before Christmas, and that's throw a Christmas themed uh, party in Dub's Hut and um, invite some of your uh, some of your mates along. So uh, Mark, who likes to play, but is afraid of wildlife, is going to join us, and. Um, Marie, who reminds me of the cartoon character out of Brave, you know, with the big mad red hair. Um, she's she's joining us. Uh, Lily's come down with a touch of death, um, or as everybody knows or something. Either way, she's not fit enough to come, uh, which is going to be unfortunate. I was looking forward to that. Um, but this evening, uh, I'm going to try and cook a Christmas cake slash muffin. Which I've never done before. Um, one of Marie's friends has challenged her to, uh, to to do some baking. So I've got that. I've got some bannock bread, which I have done before with relative success. Um, and also uh, this evening is going to be the, uh, the the premier flagship, you might say, meeting of the Mountain Pie Club slash Association, which I have appointed myself the uh, president of. Even though Mark's been bringing pies all of his camping tricks. I just thought I'd, you know, elect myself as president of the pie club. So everybody's got uh, pork pies from their neck of the woods. Um, I think that's how it's going to run. Mark is going to cook uh, a free bentos. Uh, that's also on the transient. So lots of stuff happening, children. Stay tuned. Has they got the kitchen sink in there, old cock? Right then, folks, it's about uh, ten past five-ish. Um, I've put some uh, like midi spikes onto my boots. Um, I've got an ice axe, well, both those and the, the ice axe that I've got have been very kindly lent to me to see how keen on this white stuff I really am. Um, but over there in the distance is a footpath and uh, well pretty much where that star is shining whether you can see it or not is where I'm heading. Um, I'm going to put my gloves on now, uh, walking poles out, fit my rucksack and get going. Navigating in snow at night. Is it that way? Oh, is it this way? Oh, or you could just oh look footprint. I got the map out, checked um, where the signpost at the bottom of this hill many moons ago said, and uh, I'm on the right track. Um, this is the first time I've night navigated, and uh, the first time I've done anything in snow, let alone at night. And this 30 bag, this 30 kilo bag. Oh, it weighs 30 kilos, I tell you. Oh, I'm tired. Right, folks, um, valuable lesson to be learnt here. As um, I'm coming up, I saw tracks going the way that I've been going straight up, but there's also a path off this way. So I've stopped here. I've got my map and compass out, but I've only got one pair of hands. Um, I orientated the map to the north and then I looked straight ahead at the path that I need to be going to get to my destination and I've got to stay on this course. So that's a little confidence builder, I'm feeling quite pleased with myself. It's, uh, it's very worthwhile going out and getting a bit of tuition on uh, navigation, especially at night and in the winter. And also, you've got to be very careful when you're putting a 30 kilo Bergen on that thing is going to injure you. Given any chance, it will pull you apart. So, um, yeah, I've just got to keep going up, folks. Steadily. Why are you? I'm alright, mate. How are you? Why? I'm always late, Mark. <laughs> no, I. Is it, is it 
he's a local lad, he's still there tonight. Right. Um, but we'll ask, he's, he's got a bed, nobody says he doesn't mind the noise. Oh, that's he's good. Not it's not optional. No. <laughs> Cheers, bro. Well, I could have seen you. Aye. I've got the fire for you. Oh, right. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. This is Stephen. Hi, how are you doing? How are you doing? Steve. Nice to meet you. Good walk up. Yeah, it was actually. Nice. Yeah, um, it's just starting to get a bit crisp underfoot. Yeah, yeah. Um, still a clear night light, so it's going to drop in it. Yeah. yeah. Right, I'm going to take this bag off. Thirty kilos I've got on. Oh, yeah. Right, so this is it on the go. It'll be interesting to see if that uh, plastic handle get your light in there, Stephen. And that looks like what Augustus Glump fell in at Chow in the Chocolate Factory. So I'm going to have a, a look at it in about 10 minutes or so. See what's happening. Right, 40 minutes in. I don't, I wouldn't say get in there. It looks like it's, you know that scene in the Ghostbusters where they, they go down into the sewer and it's all like that molten lava stuff? Well, imagine that's brown and bubbling. Um, I'm going to give it some longer, not some more time. In a fancy dining car, they're probably sipping coffee and smoking big cigars. But I know I had it coming. I know I can't be free. Dreams keep it rolling. That's what tortures me. Right then folks, um, new feature for this video, this is uh, the return to, to normality, you know, Yorkshire, land of the gods. So you might have noticed the uh, the back end of the video there didn't show Mark. Um, both Marie and I were obviously concerned for his safety, wondered where he was, when, he, when he'd gone. The dog had gone with him and all of his kit. Um, uh, so when we uh, descended back down to the car park, his car wasn't there, right, okay, no signal again, uh, we can't contact him or anything like that, so a lot of concern. Uh, we did need to eat something before we set off again, and um, when, you know, the signal started to come in, the first uh, message priority for me was um, was making sure Mark was all right and he'd messaged me and Marie it turns out to say uh, make sure the ice has gone off Honester Pass because it nearly cost him his life. What he'd done is um, he'd woke from his sleep and both him and the dog were freezing shivering cold and he just thought we've got to get up and we've got to get off this mountain and get back to the car for a bit of, uh, a bit of safety, a bit of warmth. Now under the influence of Kraken, uh, we, both Marie and I, did not know anything about this. We've decided as a group, um, although last night was an amazingly good time and so much fun, that we are not going to be taking any Kraken out again on the felt. Um, I had a Kraken haircut. Uh, Marie has a cracking scarf 
and um, Mark nearly had a, a cracking car crash. Um, brilliant, brilliant night, but today, the end of today, is has been radically different. Now, I did have with me a sleeping bag liner, and I also had a Gore-Tex bivy bag. Um, if Mark had been able to rouse me from my uh, crack and slumber, then those would be the two quick fixes. We could also get that fire lit back up and, uh, and what have you. But it does go to show how cold it actually gets. I think Mark is going to be seriously considering swapping out that, uh, that bag of his, which I do think has lost, the, uh, lost its loft, let's say. Um, but stay tuned for that one. Uh, fantastic night and um, if you've made it this far in the video thank you for watching a few pictures coming up Now then, it's nearly Christmas. Uh, Christmas is coming, Stephen's getting fat. So